Finally tonight, a very curious sighting in a remote part of the country, a mysterious metal structure that offers a lot more questions than answers. Our Clayton Sandell has this unusual story. It starts like a good sci-fi movie in an area of Utah people actually call Mars of the Earth. The intrepid explorers go down to investigate the uh, alien life form. Wildlife officials minding their own business, counting bighorn sheep from a helicopter last week, looked down and spotted this. What the heck is that? The crew landed the chopper and began to investigate, finding a shiny triangular monolith standing about two earthlings high, solidly mounted to the rock. Cut it in. One of the crew members notices the monolith points toward a split in the canyon wall, perhaps suggesting the alignment might have some type of Stonehenge-like significance. It's just wild. There are many questions. Is it a rogue art installation, a practical joke, and most importantly, how did they get it here? Of course, it didn't take long for social media to conjure up theories about alien invasions. Even going down there, they were nervous, like were they going to get teleported to a, another dimension or something? Upon closer inspection, this is definitely a, a human-made object and, and placed there by, by uh, their, their fellow human beings. And it's not anything other than somebody's attempt at maybe an art installation or, or you know, something like that. Okay, so maybe it is human, but you can't help be reminded of mystery monoliths in movies like 2001. <laughs> and Arrival. The chemical composition of their spaceship is unknown. As for the location, internet sleuths quickly jumped on the case, combing flight radar records and scanning satellite images. User Austin B. Grant claims the monolith is here, halfway between Canyonlands National Park and Moab, Utah. Comparing old and new images, he says it appears it showed up sometime between August 2015 and October 2016. Or could it have been here even longer? Based on what it's made out of, it, it could have looked like that even, you know, 50 years ago or more. <laughs> okay. Who does this kind of stuff? For now, officials say they won't pinpoint the exact location, saying they're worried inexperienced trekkers might get lost or stranded. It, it might be one of the most remote areas in the lower 48 states. Um, there's a lot of country out there. Uh, it, it's canyon country. We don't want it. We definitely don't want our helicopter going out there needlessly um, because people are trying to find something that we told them the location of. In the meantime, officials remind people and aliens it's illegal to install structures or art without authorization on federally managed public lands, no matter what planet you're from. And since this monolith is on federal public land, the U.S. government will now have to decide whether to tear it down or to let it stay. And of course, the biggest mystery is who put it there and how. That is all still under investigation. And as they used to say on the X-Files, Lindsay, the truth is out there. <laughs> It's out there. Some good fodder for conspiracy theorists for sure. Thanks to Clayton for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.